Hello, pig farmers and pig lovers. Welcome to Edovasa Pig Farm. I'm Daniel Eze, the founder of Edovasa Pig Farm Enugu. Today, we shall talk about uh, types of uh, pig medicine <coughs> and their application. I might not go in depth. Uh, we usually go in depth during our weekend training. So you can subscribe, you can register with us and come to our farm one of the weekend between Friday and Sunday for a weekend pig husbandry training. So let's talk of, about this uh, pig medicine and their applications. You know, medicines used in uh, this industry, the swine industry, pork industry, they can be grouped into eight broad areas. One is antibiotics. So inside that antibiotics, there are antibiotics and antibacterial substances. Uh, just like we teach in our weekend trainings that uh, these antibiotics are... Pigs suffer mostly from antibiotics-related sicknesses because of what they are eating and what they are drinking. So the other stage, another one is a, another group of the medicine is uh, minerals. For example, iron, vitamins, and electrolytes. Then there is also sedatives and analgesics. That's uh, the painkillers where you get your uh, pain strip, you know. Uh, under the antibiotics, yeah, that's where you have your LAs, sulfadimidine, uh, what are their names? Um, tylosine. Gentamicin, Gentatilo, and the rest of them, you know. Under this, you have your pain, uh, your pain strip, penicillin, you know, and the rest of them. So that, those are the sedative for pain, painkillers. Then there are also para, uh, parasitized, that's uh, uh, the, the, the ones used in treating parasites. Parasecticides, yes, parasecticides. You know, they are used in treating uh, the manga, the lice and worms. That's where you have uh, ivermectin, you have uh, levamiso, you have uh, kepromec and the rest of them. Then uh, uh, abendazole, them, a lot of them there. So we also have the fifth category, the fifth group, that's the vaccines, you know, the vaccines and uh, these vaccines usually come in uh, bottles that you've been instructed to once you open it you should finish it up within a, a, a stipulated uh, days or date you know it, uh, the vaccines uh, there are a lot of a lot of vaccines for inducing heat for preventing a uh, salmonella uh, for preventing uh, 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 what are their names? You know, uh, some of these uh, pig diseases. You know, uh, uh, I'm trying to remember the name, but uh, these are things we go through during our weekend uh, training. You know, some of them are big, big. Uh, you know, sicknesses. Do these doctors? They only always put them in big, big names that you will not easily remember. You know, but. Uh, there are vaccines for them, vaccines to, to induce heat, vaccines to cure some stubborn, uh, so, uh, to prevent, these vaccines are used for prevention, to prevent some sicknesses, some bacteria from virus infection from affecting your head. Okay, and there is a, among these vaccines, there's also liter, uh, liter guard, you know, the one you give your minas your piglets to prevent them from certain illnesses like pneumonia uh, and uh, diarrhea rest things like that so this is category is the hormones the hormones uh in fact uh, the hormones that's where these uh, uh, um, heat hormones come in you know that's one of the ones, heat hormones, especially for those your stubborn duros that don't want to come on heat. You give them those hormones. Then there is growth promoters and probiotics. Under these growth promoters, you have uh, things like a growth booster, 
you have fast grow these are injections names of injection grow booster fast grow amino forts you know then also under here you also have our feed efficiency syrup you also have um our edovasa feed efficiency syrup and uh, edovasa so and winner tonic so these are growth promoters and probiotics you know then finally the eighth category is a uh, cholesterol supplements cholesterol supplements so there are a lot of them in the market and the uh, edovasa have also added its own product on cholesterol supplements to the market so we have edovasa cholesterol supplement for piglets so we shall soon uh, uh, display that show you how it works on the on on this page okay let's now go into these eight categories of uh, in, uh, medicine and what they are used for so we might not go deep deep but let's see let me see how much or how I will flow and how much information I can relieve I can give out on this in this video for each individual medicaments a manufacturer will always provide their data sheets you know these data sheets will be available which gives guideline on as as to how to use the drug the injection and specific precautions and any contradictions related to administration of administration of that drug medicines can be administered to individual pigs or groups of pigs for treatment or to prevent diseases individual treatments are usually given by mouth in the case of piglets you know by injections in older pigs and occasionally into the skin or the vagina for certain uh, diseases in outbreak of a uh, disease group treatments are carried out by uh, infed medication injections or in the water you know when there is a break out of disease you can add it you can administer the drug a drug in groups putting it in the feed or injecting everybody in that pain or putting it in the water treatment for men, uh, manga or lice may involve the use of sprays if you want, don't want to use ivermectin you can use a uh, spray some spray products where medicines are used to prevent disease they can be used in number of in a number of ways the most efficient and cost effective method of treatment is to administer medicines either by injection or by mouth to the individual pig is more effective sick animals do not eat much and contrary to popular opinion they do not drink much either so in outbreaks of uh, diseases therefore they since they don't eat much and they don't drink much either you want to put this uh, uh, the treatment of this pig either in the feed or water uh, uh, putting that treatment in the feed or water is not um, medically efficient because they are not going to eat much sick people will not eat more they will not drink much either so you want to use injection method whenever the, your, your pig have fallen to that state that it's not eating well it's not drinking well you want to administer the medicine directly to the the body of the animal the muscles furthermore in a group of pigs affected with uh, let's say pneumonia for example it is unlikely that more than 20% of such animals will be free from that uh, from that sickness. So this requires that 80% uh, of the group should not be treated because treating 80%, the rest 80% will be unnecessary, but at least 20% should be treated. And you can actually figure out that 20% by just mere observing them. Those 20, you see out of 100, you see about 20 that are not really looking sound that's the ones you should focus on and after the treatment you also add the cost you know this cost must be added to that uh, that of the 20 that sick 20 percent however group medication can be of value in preventing more disease developing you know there can be practical problems with uh, treating large number of individual pigs you know nevertheless the response is much better and that's why we i i, I don't really like the idea when people brag about having 5,000 pigs, having 10,000 pigs. Now, if you have 5,000 pigs and you don't have workers sufficient to take care of those 5,000 pigs, it, you are just wasting your time. You know, those workers will not efficiently administer food 
and you, if you visit such farms, such big farms, bragging of big number of pigs, you see a lot of the animals are malnourished. And even to give a, uh, this uh, warm treatment every three months is a problem. You know, because going pen to pen, administering this, uh, this in, uh, uh, warm injection to over 5,000 pigs, it's work. Then maybe administering, like in our farm, we administer vitamins and uh, some growth, uh, uh, growth uh, supplement every month. So if you have large number of pigs, you should, should also have large number of workers that can manage these animals in smaller groups and also feed them well. Maybe you are keeping them, you are keeping a, a pork zoo, then you keep them, feed them well, you know. So that's, that's another thing. So about... Uh, uh treating large number uh, treating your pigs in large number you know when there is a problem is good even when there is no problem administer what we call vaccination prevention is better than cure medicines are administered in a variety of ways depending on the type of medicine and its uh, availability some medicines are toxic by injection like uh i mentioned the one time liver miso you know my first time i've not been using it but my first time of using it I mistakenly overdosed a piglet and it died. So some medicines are toxic by injection and may only be available by mouth, whereas others may be applied and absorbed through the skin. So it, you have to be careful of the kind of injection you're using and um, use it as it's prescribed. So it also takes a period of time for any medicine to be absorbed into the system to reach levels sufficient to have a therapeutic effect and then it can be excreted from the body. The frequency of treatment is determined using this uh, knowledge. Now, the following method of administration are used in pig farming. One is by injection. Injections are usually through intravenous, subcutaneous, intradermal, and uh, intramuscular. Also, there is topical. That is the medicine is applied to the surface of the body. An example would be the use of uh, pour on organosulfurous preparations or sprays for the control of manga or lice. There's also oral use, which is most uh, injectable and antibodies. They are also applied for oral administration. But make sure you read the uh, manufacturer's uh, data uh, to know options available for administering their product. Also, you can also have administered some drugs, some injections through by the uterus. Now, that's uh, for specific infections. You can uh, administer it. Uh, the in, if, to the uterus, but this time around, make sure you involve a veterinarian, a veterinary doctor. You can also administer some drugs through the rectum. You know, uh, also make sure you make sure uh, you you meet your vet. But administering drugs through the rectum is usually because of uh, some uh, meningitis that are caused by uh, salt poisoning and the uh, water deprivation. You know, that's why you have to administer this through the rectum, that's the anus, to control the imbalance, the problem. Okay, the method of administration will be indicated on the label of the bottle, and this should always be followed. For example, intravenous injections are used for anesthesia, intradermal injections to test animals for tuberculosis, and subcutaneous injections for certain types of antibodies or some vaccines. The most common... Uh, routes of injection however is intramuscular for antibodies ion injections and oil based vaccines you know occasionally injections might be given into the joint for arthritis occasionally it can be given into the joint for arthritis especially whenever uh, in this uh, lameness to target to cure lameness issues you can inject into the arthritis, into the joint for arthritis, or into the mammary gland, into the mammary gland for mastitis. And that's why our product, Edovasa Suamina Tonic, which also helps in preventing your female pig from having this mastitis is good. Prevention in our farm, Edovasa Pig Farm, we believe that prevention is better than cure. And that's why we keep on producing this pig product that will help you to use less and less antibodies and injections and use more of organic uh, means to grow your animals and have uh, healthy animals. So till next time I come your way, if you need anything, uh, you can go through our product catalog
we do have a weekend training starting from Friday to Sunday. You can register yourself or your worker or your manager. Let them come and get trained on more than uh, pig husbandry techniques. And uh, another thing is uh, our feed efficiency syrup, our growth, uh, our concentrates, our supplements, they are all there for you to use to feed your animals to get good results and uh, in, a, in an economic way. Finally, uh, if you, finally it's our investment program, which is also ongoing. You can invest cash and get 30% return on your money at six months or 60% return on your money at 12 months. The owning a pig investment is closed down. We have enough investors, but you can invest cash. We use the cash to take care of our animals, produce uh, pig products, uh, slaughter, buy slaughter animals, and pay you the uh, necessary dividends on your money. So till next time I come your way, I remain Mr. Daniel Ezejofe, the Vasa Pig Farm, saying God bless you.